The concept of doublespeak is a form of communication that uses ambiguity, evasive language, contradictions, or misleading messages to hide, distort, or manipulate the truth. During the Vietnam War, the phrase peace with honor was used by the Nixon administration to describe its approach to withdraw from Vietnam. Although seeking peace involved continued military bombing, the War on Terror is a campaign used to justify a wide range of military and security actions in the name of fighting terrorism. Declaring war against terrorism is declaring war against hate. It is not a single country or person. The term is an ambiguous justification for the invasion of enemy countries. This style of manipulation is explained in George Orwell's book, 1984. In its first pages, you can read the words, War is peace, freedom is slavery, and ignorance is strength. These famous quotes are part of the propaganda of the dictator in said book, and they are still very much relevant today in the majority of the countries around the world. Dictators tend to obscure the dialogue and convince the people that in poverty there is virtue and war is necessary for peace. Patriotism must come before reasoning, yet all of it is a simulation. In the end, most wars were created for objectives that were privy to those who bled and spilled blood for. The truth is usually the first casualty of war, the few sacrificing the many to support the system. What is doublespeak? Doublespeak is deliberately euphemistic, ambiguous, or obscure language. Hmm, this is one of those definitions that needs its own explanation. Euphemistic means making something unpleasant more acceptable. Ambiguous means it can have more than one meaning, and obscure means difficult to understand. Although the word doublespeak was never actually used by George Orwell, it was inspired by the two terms doublethink and newspeak in his classic dystopian novel 1984. Doublethink involves believing two opposing ideas at the same time, like the slogans from 1984, war is peace and freedom is slavery. Newspeak is a simplified and restricted form of English designed to limit thought and expression. Doublespeak is often used by people in power to conceal injustices, avoid accountability, and minimize pushback. It distorts and undermines meaning instead of conveying it. Doublespeak is all around us every day in many fields such as academia, advertising, government, law, marketing, military, police, and science. Doublespeak is language designed to evade responsibility, make the unpleasant appear pleasant, the uh, unattractive appear attractive, Basically, it's language designed to mislead while pretending not to. Lutz says there are at least four kinds of doublespeak. Protein reallocation instead of cannibalism and Tony Soprano's creative phrase to replace mobster would probably fall under the fourth kind of doublespeak, which is inflated language that is designed to make the simple seem complex or to give an air of importance to people, things, or situations. The concept of doublespeak stems from George Orwell's 1984. In the book, doublethink is a key concept. To know and not to know, to be conscious of complete truthfulness while telling carefully constructed lies. So doublespeak becomes useful obviously when you are obligated to communicate something but are unable to straight up lie, yet communicating the truth bluntly or as clear as possible doesn't have the listener perceive the information in a way that you would like. For example, when being asked about your current position during a job interview, you might think it would sound better to say, I'm currently economically inactive due to being offered an early retirement opportunity as a result of my previous employer's human resource redundancy elimination initiative. Instead of, I'm unemployed because the company was firing people and I got fired. A lot of times we don't want information communicated to us objectively and unembellished. Euphemisms like passed away instead of died or big boned for fat are words or phrases that are usually used to avoid a distasteful reality. William Lutz says that this is the first type of doublespeak. You see, I don't like euphemisms. I don't like language that reflects fear and conceals the truth. Americans can't really handle the truth, so they invent soft language to protect themselves. And it gets worse with every generation. Sometime during my lifetime, toilet paper became bathroom tissue. <laughs> Used cars became previously owned transportation. 
and constipation became occasional irregularity. <laughs> Poor people used to live in slums. Now, the economically disadvantaged occupy substandard housing in the inner cities. <laughs> they don't have a negative cash flow position. <laughs> They're broke. 